Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial you will learn how to install and use Slim PDF Reader. Slim PDF Reader is a fast and lightweight PDF reader and viewer. Using this PDF viewer or reader you could view PDF documents, add comments and annotations, fill out interactive forms, validate digital signatures and more. Being just 15 MB, it is just about one tenth the size of Adobe PDF Reader. This software is developed by investintech.com Inc, a Canadian based company. If you want to do more than just viewing, you can do so by subscribing to their premium PDF software called Able to Extract Professional. Able to Extract Professional is a full featured PDF converter, editor and viewer. Using this software, you can convert PDF to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, CAD and other popular file formats. This software helps you create a PDF form and any printable file format. Using this software, you can sign and validate digital signatures. You can create and edit interactive fillable forms. This software helps you do things like splitting and merging pages. You can also create passwords to your PDF documents. The links for Slim PDF Reader and Able to Extract Professional is given in the description below. Ok, now let's see how to use Slim PDF Reader. When you open the Slim PDF Reader for the first time, it looks with a dark theme. To switch the theme, you can click on this button. So you can switch between light and dark themes by clicking on this button. To open PDF documents you can click on the open button at the top select the PDF files and click on open you can view multiple PDF documents with slim PDF reader You can switch between the files but by clicking on the tabs like this. At the top of the window you find the options such as open, save, undo, redo, selection tools, panning tool, uh, option to copy, snapshot, print, page setup, etc. On the left side of the pane, you can find the options for viewing the thumbnails of the page, for viewing the bookmarks, like say this file has got some bookmarks, you can see that here. You can see the options uh, for attachments. See if the file contains any attachment that is visible here. See the left uh, panel helps you uh, to navigate between the pages by clicking on the thumbnails like this. You may also use the hand tool to just scroll the pages. You can also use the buttons at the bottom to switch or navigate between the pages like this. 
to go to the last page you can click on the last page button to go to the beginning of the page you can click on the first page button you can zoom in and zoom out using these controls you may also fit the page like this you can use the fit width option to fit the page according to the screen width at the bottom you can also find the options to rotate the page like this you can rotate the pages if you want you also have a search box to search the document you can type in a word here like say for example uh, I want to um, search or look for a word called header just type in and press the enter key Furthermore, you have the options uh, to select the whole words or the case sensitive words. You may use this options. Then on the right side, you can find the options to add annotations such as sticky note. can type in your note here if you want to create a link you can use add link option to do that you need to use the selection tool and the add link option just click on the add link and if you are linking to your website or something you can use the URL option then type in the website link here say for example google.com and click on the OK button now just create a selection around the word or a phrase you want to link to like this okay let me zoom zoom in a little bit so you can see that uh, this word has been linked to that uh, website see to open the link you need to hold down the alt button and click on this link So holding down the alt button and clicking on the link navigates to the web page or the specified location. Now in case if you want to just uh, make a hyperlink within the same document you should do like this just click on the add link button and select the page in the page enter the page number oh, and then simply click on the OK button now drag a selection around the word or the phrase and that's it so you have created a link to page 3 so again the same thing you can hold down the alt button and then make a simple click to just uh, jump to that location so when you hold down the alt button and click you can see that the uh, the link takes you to that location 
you can further see that there are options such as add stamp, highlighter, underline, uh, quickly and uh, strike out and other options such as attachments you have the option to create watermarks and also if you want to remove any of these annotations you can use the delete annotation option so now let us have a look at other options uh, see let us create a stamp let us see what this is what this does so just click on this uh, it says draft okay let us see let us select approved then click OK to see what happens oh you get the approved thing like this you may rotate it if you want you can place this wherever you want okay now let us see how we can use the highlighter you can click on this highlight then drag a selection around the text to highlight the text so I guess I have highlighted uh, okay how do I remove this now you can use the delete okay let me highlight just these two three words okay I guess we can change the color so to change the color you can just click on this box here and then change the color you want like say I choose yellow okay also you can change the opacity here say I can still reduce this or increase it let us see making it 50% okay 80 80 was perfect okay um, now this looks like something like the underlining option now I just click this okay and see what happens okay let us also check what is underlined let us zoom in and see what this things how different it is from the squiggly option and um, I guess this the both are uh, similar I guess uh, the both are similar this also underlines and even this option can also be used to underline so then the other option what is this it is strike out okay we can strike out things here like this yeah it's striked out you may change the color here so i guess for everything you can change the color so we can just select that by making a single click to select the annotations you need to use the selection tool then change the things you want like the color just like that okay now let's let's test the watermark option okay watermark okay let me type um, okay I'll type my website's name hbn infotech dot com okay we can select the text I mean the font font size etc so right now I'll just leave this defaults um, and then click on ok to see what has happened oh I guess I need to zoom out a little bit see okay the watermark looks like this I okay mm -hmm. 
the watermark is visible okay yeah it's visible here it's visible here slightly visible yes so it appears on all of the pages okay so on the right side of the panel you have the options uh, for annotations as I already said you also all have the option to view the digital signatures so if you have got if the if the document has got any digital signatures that is visible here so using this option you can check the validity of digital signatures so these options come with the free version uh, of the slim PDF reader the pro features uh, let's have a look at the pro features the pro features can do much more than just viewing so you can use the pro feature to convert the PDF uh, you can just uh, convert from PDF to Excel and X, uh, uh, it says batch PDF tools so batch options can be used to work on multiple files I guess then you can use uh, the editing okay I guess editing the PDF is possible with the pro feature then you have some OCR options like um, um, okay OCR then PDF signatures PDF forms secure the PDF I mean you can add the passwords so you can do much more with the pro features so you can using the pro feature you can convert the PDF um, convert PDFs from to Word Excel and other formats such as CAD formats uh, then you have uh, the batch PDF tools you have the option to edit PDF documents uh, you have the options to use OCR technology you have the options for PDF signatures I mean you can add PDF signatures you have uh, the option to create interactive forms um, finally you can also add passwords to the PDF document using the pro feature the free version just lets you view uh, the PDF documents lets you view the PDF documents and also it lets you add annotations and do some small things like uh, uh, rotating panning taking snapshots etc and all that okay I hope you enjoyed this uh, walkthrough of slim PDF reader thanks for watching